And hello, JM football fans, and welcome to Petersburg, Virginia, for a special edition of Wednesday Night Football. Due to Hurricane Florence, we are bringing you James Monroe High School football tonight. It's a Class 3 matchup between the Petersburg Crimson Wave and your James Monroe Yellow Jackets. Welcome to the Union Bank and Trust pregame show. Fredericksburg's leader in banking and financial solutions. On behalf of Union Bank and Trust, I'm Herman Kay alongside Bob Blackburn for tonight's game. We are bringing you tonight's game live on RegionalWebTV.com. Cox Channel 83 and Verizon Channel 41. Bob, last week the Yellow Jackets played in Mountain View over the two days and were unable to get it uh, going against a really good Wildcat ball club. After uh, surrendering an early touchdown against Mountain View on Friday night, Lightning came into the area so the game was pushed to Saturday afternoon. New day but same results as the Yellow Jackets struggled and were ultimately shut out by the score of 35 to nothing. He will get the ball first, going left to right. Yeah, it looks like uh, uh, the, the sunshine is a good omen here uh, today and uh, looks like the uh, clouds from uh, the storm are not, uh, not in the area, so uh, and the one thing is, I don't see any mud on their feet. No, the field looks to be in great shape. I thought the grass was a little bit high, but uh, what a beautiful evening here in Petersburg. Heavy clouds overhead, but the sun is peeking through, which makes this a gorgeous afternoon for high school football. A little bit humid, Bob, hot here in the press box, but uh, what a great evening for high school football. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like every year, you know, we start in the sweat and end up in the cold. <laughs> Freezing to death. Yep. Quarterback Zach Davis and his offense could not get anything established last week while the defense struggled to stop the run and contain quarterback Tyler Haskins. Tonight, the Yellow Jackets hope to pick up a big win at Class 3 against Petersburg. Jackets and Crimson Wave have met in five previous games, and guess what, Bob? With the Yellow Jackets winning all five. I, I did kind of remember that, and I did tell a few folks that, but I said uh, I think they have a good ball club this year. So the Yellow Jackets tonight uh, game will end the series for the time being. Let me say that again. Tonight's game will end the series for the time being as both teams try to make their marks for a possible postseason play. Coming into tonight's game, James Moreau seems to be able to throw the ball to any number of receivers but needs a consistent run game to accompany the passing attack. Crimson Wave set to kick off the James Monroe on a, a warm humid uh, afternoon here in Petersburg and uh, I would be safe to say Bob that uh, this game can be played tonight hopefully without any wet weather. <laughs> Here's your kick by Petersburg, taken at the 12, 15, 20, 25, and pulled down at the James Monroe 28 yard line. Yeah, I'd like, uh, like to see the Jackets uh, break, break one. I haven't seen a special teams um, uh, run back yet. And, uh, the James Monroe's usually pretty famous for those. <laughs> We have not seen, uh, maybe we'll be surprised with one tonight, Bob, one of those uh, run backs, whether it be a touchdown uh, run back or a punt. We'll take either one. Absolutely. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets at their 27-yard line. Zach Davis, the quarterback, the senior, setting up an audible there as he operates his offense. Gets the snap, handoff, 25 on the carry, gets to the outside, lot of run up the sideline, pushed out of bounds in front of the JM bench, but not until he picked up about 24 yards on that sprint around the right side. I love the way he turned that corner yes. there and just turned on the burner. That's something we have not seen from this office, and it was a concern, Bob, by the GM coaching staff whether they could get their running game together. And on that initial play, they certainly made it work into Petersburg territory down to the 40, we'll say 49-yard line. Penalty on the play. What's, what's the holdup? 
going back. It's uh, dead ball foul against Petersburg. Dead ball, personal foul against the Crimson Wave. And that's going to push James Moreau deeper into Petersburg territory. Wow, this is awful early for one of those calls, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> A little extracurricular stuff going on with that tackle. What a break for the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, it's, ni it's nice to add a few yards on the yeah. end of a run like that. So it will be first and 10 yards to go for James Monroe at the Crimson Wave 32-yard line. Three receivers trips to the near side of the field, one to the far side. Zach Davis setting his offense. Barking out the signals, gets the snap. Now we're getting a flag. It's going to be movement in that jam backfield. Yeah, illegal procedure. Somebody in that backfield moved, Bob. Yeah, he, well, he had one running back, and I'm just wondering if uh, if, if it was Curry, but he, um, I didn't, I didn't really see him move. So no, nope. I did not either, partner. And we're talking about uh, number 25, Deontay Curry, 5'8", 165, 10th grader. Could be a big night tonight for Curry, Bob. Yeah, I, I would love to see that. He had uh, two, uh, two opening games. He, uh, he he ran a little bit on the wild side there. Yellow Jackets break huddle, first and 15 yards to go at the Petersburg 36-yard line. Now we're getting another flag. And... Another false start. Are these officials trying to make up for that personal foul call against Petersburg by two successive illegal procedure calls against James Monroe? G gave us gave us 15 and uh, made us t give back 10. Yeah, I and smell. Change. I smell a rat. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> First at 10 yards to go for James Monroe at Petersburg pass and it's going to be nearly well it was Brandon Warriors the big target at 6-4 he was open Bob just flat out dropped the football but you got to remember when he turned around for the football he's looking right into the sun what a shame you know uh, when you set up a stadium that's one of the things I think you have to think about the direction of the sun, correct? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, the setting yeah. of the sun, I guess. Yeah, you're right. He had to look over his shoulder and bingo. Second and 20 yards to go. A run, a cut back to the inside. Fumble. And he fumbled the football. Let's see. No indication that Petersburg came up with it. So the Yellow Jackets will maintain possession of the football. Number 25. Yep. That was Kerry on the carry, and I think he got that football back, Bob. Yeah, yeah, he, um, it, it did go a couple yards down the field, yeah. but uh, Petersburg did not fall on it. So um, Third down, and about 17 yards to go for Jays Monroe. Ball just inside the 40 at the Petersburg 39-yard line. Two receivers, four wideouts for Jays Monroe. And that's going to be a fly pattern up to sideline. Falls incomplete. And that's going to stop the clock with 10.44 to go. And a punting down here for Jays Monroe. Yeah, that, that's... Uh that, that's a shame because uh, in both cases he threw it where the receiver had to turn around and uh, look in the sun again. Yes. So Yellow Jackets with a fourth down here. Punter standing back in JM territory at the 46 yard line. We need a good snap here from the center. Long snapper. And it's going to be a high snap. Let's see. Flag again. Flag marred first quarter thus far, and we still got uh, 10:43 to go. Penalty against Petersburg. The penalty is against Petersburg. The legal substitution. Illegal substitution against the Crimson Wave. That's going to push the ball down to the 34-yard line. I'd have second thoughts about this ball. Yeah, I, 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 I think uh, you know a bit of a fake might be. Enough. Yeah, yeah. See if the kicker, punter rather, can throw. He's going to kick out of pooch that off the side of the foot. Yeah. Not a good punt. Goes. Trickling out of bounds on the far side, right around the 30, make it 20-yard line. 
Yeah, that was ugly to the third power, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Petersburg, a member of the Central District and Region 3A, enters tonight's game with a 2-0 record after one first week bye. How would you like to have a first week bye? Uh, I I would, as it, early as they started yeah. this year, you know. <laughs> so the first week of the regular season was a bye for this Petersburg team, but they are undefeated at 2-0. and First stand, 10 yards to go for the Crimson Wave, and they keep it on the ground, run right uh, into a couple of JM players. That was Mac Holland in on the stop for James Moreau. Yeah, he's picking up where he, came, uh, where he left off. Yes. No gain on that first down run, setting up a second down. Ten yards to go for the Crimson Wave. 10-11 uh, to go in this opening quarter. No score. Got two receivers split to the near side of the field and two to the far. Four wideouts for uh, Petersburg. Quarterback and the gun quick. Pass in the flat runs right into number seven. That's Aiden Ryan coming up to Passing make the hit. To number nine, Tion Harrison. He's met by number seven. Yeah, uh, Ryan. Jam's defense is uh, you know the, they they get on to you early and you're you're not a uh, multifaceted team. <laughs> you're going to hurt yourself pretty That's bad. That's right. Yeah. That was Harris on the reception for Petersburg. He's a senior, 5'6", 145 pounds. Third down, and we'll say five and a half yards to go for the Crimson Wave. Quarterback from the gun drops back, looking, looking, flushed out of the pocket, going to run with it, gets around a couple of GM players, and he's got the first down, tripped up, falls out of bounds right in front of his own bench, but not until he picked up the first down. Yeah, he looked down the field, and he looked, uh, checked off a couple receivers and then uh, took off running yes. and did, did a nice job. Picked up the first down, advanced the ball out to the Petersburg, we'll say, 37-yard line. Going no huddle here, too, Bob. A little hurry-up offense. First and 10 yards to go for the Crimson Wave at their 37. You got four wideouts for Petersburg. Quarterback. Pistol formation gets the quick pass in the flat and a nice run out near the 50 yard line. That's an 11 yard reception and run by Petersburg. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the, the second, uh, second first down in a row, and he, uh, he looks like he's. Uh, He's clicking with those short passes. Yeah, the quarterback can throw. This kid can throw and run. And Yellow Jackets corners, Bob, will have to come up and challenge these receivers. Same formation again to fake. And to the near side, and he runs into a couple of JM tacklers on the play. That's number 14 for Jays Burrow. Nicholas Williams in on the stop. And number 40 for Kennard. Second down. Second down and... Eight for the wave. Ball at the just inside JM territory at the James Monroe 49 yard line. Second down and we'll say eight yards to go. 8.03 remaining first quarter. Quarterback. Handoff. A run. Bounces off a couple of players. Finally number pulled down by number, number eight. eight Zach Hardy. Jack Hardy rather, Bob. Yeah, uh, uh, Jack, uh, Jack sometimes, uh, he, he gets there quickly, he really does. And, uh, yes. He's, uh, is he the freshman, number eight? I'll check. What was that? Is, uh, is that Hardy the freshman? <laughs> He's the junior. Okay, I think Jack. you are absolutely right. Yep. Third down and two yards to go. And the quarterback keeps the football, gets away, and he's falling forward. He's pushed back, but his forward progress will give him the first down. Yellow Jackets have got to get some containment on the edge, Bob, because uh, this quarterback runs this option extremely well. Third consecutive first down for Petersburg. 7-16 to go, opening quarter, no score. But Petersburg have had the ball a long time in this first quarter. First and 10 yards to go. Quarterback from this shotgun. 
flushed out of the pocket and finally taken down right at the 40. No gain on that play. Yeah, that's the second time he's looked down the field and seen everyone covered. And, yes. Uh, so you got to credit that secondary, Bob, for the coverage. Not allowing that quarterback to throw the football. So number 12 we're talking about for Charlotte, uh, Petersburg. That's two weeks ago. <laughs> Messiah Scott. Tenth grader, six footer, 198 pounds. Got a flag. So the Crimson Wave with a threat to score in this first quarter. 6.29 to go. Time out on the field. We'll be back. No score from Petersburg. Marlo Josie, barbecue ribs, sausage fries, and drinks. For what I hear, he got some special sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Petersburg. That PA announces making me <laughs> hungry, and we, and we just ate. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so second and ten yards to go for Petersburg at the James Monroe 40. That's going to be a quarterback oh. with the keeper. He was drilled by number 42. Yeah, he, he sold that hand yep. off, and I think maybe he should have handed it off. <laughs> Dana Reynolds for the Yellow Jackets coming up to make the hit. 5'10", 167, senior. Third down, and 10 and a half yards to go for Petersburg. Petersburg going with uh, no huddle here, Bob. You got four wideouts in this formation. Quarterback. Gets the snap. Looking, throws a pass. And that was a pick. Slipping tackles. You see that other receiver? Oh, oh you yeah. set a pick for him. Yeah, he set a pick. I guess one of the jam defenders. And the pass is completed. And that's going to be another first down. That's first down number four for Petersburg in this first quarter. First and ten for the Crimson Wave at the James Monroe 24-yard line. Quarterback, four wideouts again. And they hand it off up the middle. A couple of missed tackles by JM up front. Allowed the ball carrier to slip through, Bob, and pick up uh, some good yards. Yeah, you know, in, in, uh, in times past there, JM uh, usually picks it up when they get it in the red zone. And I'm um, hoping that's what happens here. So, gain of four yards on that carry. And uh, we're having... Problems, no sound. Just got the word. Five Hendricks on the carry. Four fifty-two to go. Third down. And about three yards to go for Petersburg. So third down and two yards to go for the Crimson Wave at the James Monroe 17-yard line. That's going to be a run in the middle. Got the first down. Down near the 10-yard line. Somebody JM came ball. out with the football. Should be a first down. Let's see. I never heard a whistle. I, I didn't either. And, uh, are they giving the ball? To, yes. Yellow Jackets come up with a fumble recovery. Yeah, had to. That, uh, when, a, when a late whistle uh, helps you, that's, that's a good thing, right? It was a scrum ball. Yeah. And they ball carrier never did go down. So while they were holding him up, somebody robbed him. <laughs> and came out of there with the football. Yeah, welcome to Fredericksburg. <laughs> so the Yellow Jackets with the takeaway. Stopping a drive by Petersburg. They had the ball. 
ball a long time in this first quarter. 4.15 to go. Yellow Jackets with the first and 10 yards to go. Now we're getting a flag. What's the call on that? That's going to be a false start against the Yellow Jackets again. That's the third. That's the third one. The Yellow Jackets like to move quickly. And it cost them five yards. First down and 15 for the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, uh, we are already um, in this early season, we have a record for uh, yeah, I mean, flags. They are not a team that make a lot of mistakes, and they've been called for three illegal procedure calls here in this first quarter. Zach Davis, that's going to be a handoff to carry on the carry. And might have picked up a couple of yards, setting up a second down and about 13 yards to go. For the other day. Yeah, you, you know, the uh, sun has gone under a cloud. I think now is the time to go ahead and let one zip. <laughs> <laughs> Won't have the problem with the sun in your eyes, right? Right, and uh, the receivers are probably going, Hey, Zach, <laughs> take a look around. 3.47 to go. First quarter action here at Petersburg High School. Second, 12 yards to go for James Monroe. Zach Davis, the quarterback, you got four wide out for James Monroe. Zach gets a snap, quick two-step drop. And pass intended for number two on the far side. That's Woolridge. They like that matchup. Look at the height difference, Bo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, th I think they're going to keep going there yeah. until, they, uh, until they get that one right. So Woolridge at 6'4", and the guy that's guarding, guarding him, let's see, number three. Is that for Petersburg? Yeah. He, uh, Damian Tribby. They got him listed at 6'2". He's more like 5'7". <laughs> Zach again. And a pass across too high. Zach's going to have to... He's going to have to plant his feet when he throws, Bobby. He's not getting set. Yeah, I, I, I think he's still a little, uh, little gun-shy from uh, the last game, you know, yeah. which was, what, three days ago? Yes. Four days ago, tops. Days. So the Yellow Jackets playing both teams, well, at least uh, Petersburg played last Friday night, and the Yellow Jackets played Saturday, so not much rest for James Monroe this week. So that's a factor, you know, coming into a game like that, you get into a routine. Uh, how low snap picks it off, the turf gets off a punt that does not turn over, takes... A Petersburg bounce is going to be down somewhere around the 27. Yard line. Wow. Maybe 28. We'll say 28 yard line. First down and 10 for the wave. They haven't had much luck on punting tonight. Uh, they had no. two, two punts, and both of them were uh, relatively short. Short punts. Once the sun went down behind that cloud, Bob, it's. Yes, hasn't got cool, but it's cool off a little bit. Hasn't yeah, it? it looks like there's a little hope. <laughs> yeah. So first and 10 yards to go for Petersburg at the James Monroe 27-yard line. 3-16 to go in this first quarter. And a pass across the middle intended. A little slant pattern. And that's... Uh, Jashan Muhammad, the antenna receiver on that play. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We want to welcome our listeners on the World Wide Web and as well as Cox Channel 83. Oh, okay. Understand that the cell service was low, so thus we're up and running. Second down and 10 yards to go for Petersburg at the James Monroe 27-yard line. Quarterback fakes the ball, and he's going to keep the football. Didn't get much, Bob. No, but you know, he, he, uh, he's pretty, still pretty elusive, though, yes. but uh, he, got, he got hit that time. <laughs> Maziah Scott is the young man's name. He's a junior, 5'10", 185. Okay, now that, that, that makes sense. I thought they were going to put him in at 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> and 
and he really doesn't look that tall to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so they cheat with the height and weight down here, huh? <laughs> Third down and eight yards to go. Quarterback dropping back. Plants fires a pass. Foster oh. Meadow with the catch down inside the 10-yard line. Right around the 10 or 11-yard line. That ball was a rifle pass on a rope ball. Yeah. And no, and no huddle. Here we go. Yep. Injured JM player down. That's number seven. You certainly don't want to lose him. That's Aiden Ryan, 10th grader. No, that's number three. I'm sorry, Bob. Marquise uh, Davenport. He gingerly goes to the sideline, flat on his back over there, flexing his legs. Certainly hope he's okay. Yeah, he, uh, if, he pu if he pulled a muscle, that's one thing. Uh, or uh, cr cramps, whatever. It's a, it's still a little warm for the <laughs> this yep. time of year. First and ten yards to go. Petersburg at the James Monroe 11. Two, 18 to go. Quarterback with the football. That's and a, what a move. Trouble. He's going to walk into the end zone. Boy, he faked a jam player out of his shoes, literally. Touchdown! And what was that about an 11 yard touchdown run, Bob? I, but I hold the phone here. I thought it was a flag. No flag. I thought it was a flag, but uh, they're getting set for this uh, point after. Gonna go for two. All the plays are coming in from the bench, Bob. Two-point conversion yeah. attempt here for Petersburg. Direct snap to the quarterback. He passes and a catch by number four. Muhammad coming up with the two-point conversion attempt. Timeout on the field. 2 8 to go in this first quarter. I'll score. Petersburg 8, James Monroe nothing, back after this timeout. Welcome back to Petersburg High School and Crimson Wave uh, getting a touchdown two-point conversion attempt. 2.08 to go in this first quarter. Eight to nothing. Ugly kick off the side of the foot. Goes out of bounds at the JM 25-yard line. Illegal procedure against the Wave on the kick. So the Yellow Jackets getting the football. Do they get they get to choose where it uh, went out or a uh, re-kick? Yes. Choice. Okay. So the penalty. It's going to be out at the 35-yard line. Yep. So first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets at their 35-yard line. Yellow Jackets have got to get some offense scoring them. Yeah, absolutely, and, uh, especially the passing game. Uh, Zach gets zeroed in here. Uh, it'll make a big difference in this game. I mean, we went four quarters. The Yellow Jackets being shut out, and they keep the ball on the ground, and a hard, tough yard down inside. Number 23 for Petersburg. Rakeem Lewis in on the stop. No gain on that play. Yeah, so far they're they're playing like they uh, have played too many games in too little time. Yes. Yellow Jackets going to have to get this running game going. Had success on that initial possession. Yeah, they did. Yep. Huge run by Curry. 
Second down and 10 yards to go. And that's going to be number 21, Fontleroy. Trying to get to the outside. He's going to be locked up and tackled for a loss of a couple of yards. So they're trying to go wide with these runners. Try to take it in between the tackles. They're finding no success, Bob. No, this is, this is not JM football yet. No. no. Loss of a couple of yards, setting up a third down. And about 12 yards to go for James Monroe. 54 seconds and counting down here in this opening quarter. It's the Crimson Wave leading James Monroe by the score of 8 to nothing. Third and 12, Zach rolling to his left. Throws a pass high over the head of the antenna receiver. And that's... Uh, Zach is going to have to set his windage and elevation just a little bit, Bob. He's throwing high. Yeah, and uh, when he started and uh, the receiver was looking into the sun, uh, it, it, mu it must have blown his mind a little bit, too, there. Because, uh, yeah, he's, he's not quite zeroed in yet. That was Jack Hardy, uh, Bob, number eight. Was not, uh, oh, it's Zach not Zach Davis. Davis. Okay. No. Sorry, Zach. I'm sorry, Zach. <laughs> Fourth down, punting down here for the Yellow Jackets. Punter gets off a pretty good punt, and it bounces straight up in the air. Going to be down by number 14 for the Yellow Jack, Nicholas Williams. And Petersburg will set up shop at their own 32 yard line. I mean, this thing is far from being over, Bob. The Yellow Jackets have just got to get some offense. Yeah, maybe their first uh, first break will come off the defense, and uh, and that that'll uh, that'll help get things going with the offense. So. I mean, you look back to the Charlottesville game; they did nothing wrong. Yeah, that that was a beauty of a game. It really yep. was. First and ten for the Crimson Wave quarterback. Handoff run around the left side. And a nice open field tackle. And that was number five. Hendricks on the carry for Petersburg. Picked up five yards on that run around the left side. Setting up a second down and five yards to go. Four wideouts for Petersburg. Whistle coming out. Let's see if it's going to be a procedure call against them. Dead ball. False start. Against the wave. That's a five-yard bloody. That's going to push it back to the original line of scrimmage. Still second down. And with the temporary stoppage of play, Bob, with two seconds to go, they will have time to get this playoff, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, once, they, once they get it snapped, it. nope, that's it. Oh, okay. Time out on the field, end of one quarter of play here at Petersburg, Virginia. Our score, it is Petersburg leading James Monroe by the score of eight to nothing. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back to Petersburg High School. Second out of 10 yards to go for the Crimson Wave at their 38-yard line. Now we get another flag. 
This is the false start group. Yeah, I mean that's all they call. We had, we had a holding crew one time, and uh, yeah. yeah, this is definitely the false start. It's got to be uh, if you count both teams. That's five. It's gotta, yeah, at least, at least. Yeah, yep. you're right. Five false start penalties against the Yellow Jackets and Petersburg in this football game. Kind of unusual. Second down, and we'll say 14 yards to go for the Crimson Wave at their 33. Quarterback pass wide open wow. in the middle. And a couple of missed tackles. First down into JM territory. Bad tackling by the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, and that, that, that receiver, you're right, he came right across the middle yeah. and he was wide open. Nobody picked him up. Just floated out of that big backfield. Came wide open, caught the football. And nice rack yards that's run after the catch. Yeah. So first and ten, and they are in a hurry here. No huddle. First and ten, quarterback plants. Rifles a pass across the middle over the head of the intended receiver. And intended, Bob, for number nine, that's Tion Harris, the intended receiver for Petersburg. Yeah, I would say, if I had to say anything about the uh, throwing arm, he's a little bit less accurate on longer passes. Yes. But deadly accurate on the short ones. Second. Ten yards to go for Petersburg at the James Monroe 48-yard line. Just getting underway here in the second quarter. 11.36 to go. Four wideouts operating from the pistol formation. And once again, it's going to be a false start against Petersburg. Wow. Somebody is moving down in the trenches. One of those linemen bar. So these referees, these officials have the Wednesday night blues. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is uh, <laughs> out of their league. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. So illegal procedure call against Petersburg, pushing her back five yards to their own 46-yard line. Second down, and we'll say 14 yards to go. Quarterback, low snap. And he feels the pressure, dumps it off. Lot of daylight out in front. He's going to go a long way, 30, 20, 15, pull down at the James Monroe 10-yard line. Wow, when you see that running back point ahead and uh, pick out his blocks, you know, he's Got plenty of room. Of course, the Yellow Jackets are not playing their style of football defensively. But you got to give some credit to this quarterback, Bob, for Petersburg. Uh, Scott, the quarterback, this guy kind of waited for that rush. He got two JM players going out late. They got to hustle off. They make it off. But it's first and goal from the 10-yard line. And... They can't hit this guy. That's Hendricks on the carry. He's just kind of tiptoeing, weaving his way through. Picked up about three, four yards in that run. Yeah, I, I have to give the quarterback credit for se for selling that play. You know, uh, they, they're carrying out their fakes really well. Yellow Jackets not playing their type of football. They are as flat as water on a plate. <laughs> Second and goal from the seven-yard line. Quarterback handoff run, untouched oh, into the end zone. What a shame. Yep, Hendricks. So a seven-yard touchdown run by Hendricks. And the Crimson Wave uh, up by the score of 14 to nothing with the extra point or two-point conversion attempt upcoming. <laughs> so here we go two point conversion attempt here by Petersburg they made one earlier man in motion to the far side of the field now we're getting a flag penalty nope it's going to be a timeout for Petersburg and we'll take a timeout Bob 10.37 to go, two-point conversion attempt coming up when we return.
Petersburg taking a timeout. We're back to live action. Two-point conversion attempt here by the Crimson Wave. Uh, you know, Herman, I suspect that they don't have a good place kicker. I would. Well, if they get this one, they don't. <laughs> they run this one in. They don't need the kicker. Yeah. Man in motion to the near side. Quarterback looking. Pops out of the pocket. Rifles the pass inside. It's going to be intercepted in the end zone. No good. Timeout on the field. 10-37 to go in this second quarter. It's Crimson Wave 14. Yellow Jackets nothing. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Petersburg High School. Crimson Wave set to kick off to James Monroe. Another ugly kick. You got to come up and return it. And finally picked up at the 20. And hits a seam. Finally tripped up out across the 45 to the 46. And that's Ryan. Aiden Ryan on the return, Bob. What a great return. Yeah, I, I tell you, you know, usually he has that extra uh, extra step, and you, you can't catch him. Yeah. But, uh, this time somebody ran him down. Uh, I, I give Petersburg a little credit for being quicker than some of the teams he played. They've got some speed out there. We're talking about Petersburg. First and 10 for James Monroe at their 46. That's going to be had a quarterback, Zach Davis, on the run down into – Petersburg Territory, 12-yard gain by the quarterback, Zach Davis, down to the Petersburg 41. Uh, that was amazing. I, yes. I, was, I was right in on the, um, uh, the back that he tried to hand it to. <laughs> Great run by Zach. And uh, so Zach is determined to will his team back into this football game, Bob. Yeah, and that's, that's what it would take. Zach yes. gets hot, and I think everybody gets gets rolling. Four wideouts for James Monroe, first and ten. Quarterback Zach swing pass in the flat and he only picked up a couple of yards. These teams mirror each other, Bob. Those are the same type of plays that Petersburg has picked up good yards on all afternoon. Yeah, and they are both playing the pistol, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. That formation. Yeah, very similar formation. Offensively, defensively, uh, Petersburg is in a 3-4, but a gain of two yards on that play, setting up a second down. Eight yards to go for James Monroe. Petersburg 39. Quarterback Zach again into the secondary, and he down inside the 20 to about the 17-yard line. Wow, I, I got to hand it to him again. He he gave Curry the, the, the full Monty on that one. <laughs> and they found something, Bob. You know, uh -huh. the fakes work because I thought the Curry had the football. Uh, not Curry, but uh, who am I talking about? Yeah, Curry. Curry, yeah. <laughs> so, Zach keeping the football picked up huge yards. First and ten for James Monroe. You got trips to the near side of the field. Zach Davis, quarterback, gets the snap, looks, and has a man wide open with a touchdown reception. Nice job. Aiden Ryan. And that's going to be a 17-yard pass from Zach Davis to Aiden Ryan. And the Yellow Jackets are on the board. That may be the uh, bell that woke him up. Yeah. And Zach pretty much put him on his back, his team on his back, Bob. He is responsible for this drive and that touchdown. 
He ran for two first downs. He threw the touchdown pass. Extra point attempt here to snap the hole. The kick, it's up. It is good. Timeout on the field, 8.40 to go in this second quarter, and the Yellow Jackets are on the board. Our score, it's Petersburg 14, James Monroe 6. We'll be back after this. back here in Petersburg home of the Crimson Wave at Petersburg High School. The Yellow Jackets getting on the board with a 17 yard touchdown pass from Zach Davis to Curry and Bob the Yellow Jackets set to kick off to Petersburg. So, somebody had a talk with that offense over there on the yeah. sidelines and uh, lit, lit them up a little bit. Now, uh, now D comes out and uh, maybe they're inspired by that and they will uh, uh, st stop Petersburg here and make him make a mistake, do something, and uh, maybe uh, Jam can get another. And it was an easy drive for the Yellow Jackets. It was. They it's went easy. right down the field, end over end, short kick, and it goes by the return man. And he picks it up, and he's going to be pulled down. Excellent coverage. And is that number 88? Thomas Williams. Excellent coverage on that kickoff. And the Yellow Jackets uh, came up big defensively there. Maybe that was the spot they needed, Bob. That, that, that's, that's, that, that's the piece I was looking for there. I'm hoping, uh, uh, hoping that's a spark. Yes. You know, that's the play and play, too, by the kicker. They kick it into that vacated area, uh -huh. and it worked to perfection on that play because the return man was unable to field it in the air. So first and 10 for Petersburg at their 12-yard line. 8.35 to go in this first half here on the road. Quarterback getting his play from his head coach on the sideline. A lot of time there, a lot of time. You got two receivers to the near side of the field. The quarterback gives it off and it's going to be pulled down by number 42. Yeah. Good defensive play. Dana Reynolds, Bob, wrapping him up. Reynolds on the tackle. Five. Hendricks on the carry. Reynolds, Reynolds I think, is uh, already starting to, uh, to pick it up here. Loss of two yards on that running play. Setting up a second down. And about 12 yards to go for Petersburg at their 10-yard line. Eight. 08 to go. First half. Petersburg 14. James Monroe 7. Quarterback gets it, drops back, plants, steps up, fires a pass, has a man wide open. Got behind the defender, Bob. That had touchdown written all over it. How did and he, he led him by two steps. Wow. Okay, so we uh, we, we we still got the uh, the goods on the. Uh, on oh, number 12 down there, he uh, his deep balls are not totally accurate. No, but he, he missed one there. I mean, if he had connected on that, yeah, it would have been a 90-yard touchdown pass. Yeah, that receiver was already under full steam. Yes. So, incomplete pass, setting up a third and 11. Quarterback again, rolls to his right. And he kind of dumps it off in a tackle right on top of his man. That was number four, Joe Hardy, with excellent coverage. And this will force uh, Petersburg to punt, Bob. Yeah, uh, this, this, is, uh, this is a turning point right yes. here. I think the Jackets, uh, uh, Jackets D did a nice job on that. So the Yellow Jackets coming up big defensively. Offense. The defense matched the offense on that series. They, too, made some big plays. So fourth down, punting down here for 
Petersburg. Play on the plane, dead ball. Illegal, Illegal substitution, dead ball foul against Petersburg. So that's going to push the punter deeper into his end zone. Yeah, people should fumble that ball. Damn. <laughs> okay, I'm just mapping out a scenario here. <laughs> and I thank you for it, partner. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Even snap it over his head out the end zone. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a safety. Sure. Fourth down, punting down here. Punter gets off a high punt, short punt, and it takes the Petersburg roll out to the 46, make it 44 yard line. So the Yellow Jackets will have it first and 10 at the Petersburg 44. Plenty of time left, Bob, in this first half. 7.01 to go. Yeah, if Zach pulls those um, uh, fakes off uh, well this time, he'll get, he'll get some more good runs here. Yes. So the Yellow Jackets went excellent. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets at the Petersburg 44 yard line. One receiver to the near side of the field, quarterback Zach Davis. Handoff and Ouch. number 25 for the Yellow Jacks, Curry, unable to get away. Second down for the Yellow Jackets. Loss of a couple of yards on that run, setting up a second down. And we'll say 13 yards to go for James Monroe. 6.40 remaining in his first half of football. Substitutions coming in for Petersburg. Second, 12 yards to go. Davis from the gun. Over, he's high again. Another pass. Pass is too high. Uh, that was thrown by Zach Davis. Number six. These are passes that he connected on. Yeah, and uh, uh, that Saturday. receiver receiver was open. And, yep. um, yeah. Let him zero in. That, that's uh, that only brings up third down, and uh, they'll be throwing again. I'm sure. No, no, you good? You no. Uh -uh. So incomplete pass setting up a third at 12 yards to go. Zach looking to throw the football. And he's going to run with it. Gets away. Throws a pass. And a nice catch. He had two receivers, two defenders around that receiver. And no flag on the play. So that play will count ball. First down for the Jackets. Nice job. Yes, it was. Good pass by Zach. Kind of lowered the elevation a little bit and connected. You know, like you're on the rifle range. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, you got to home it in. That's right. First and 10 for James Monroe at the Petersburg 30. And that's going to be Zach again. And getting the ball down near the 26 yard line. Three on the tackle. So we got a ball game here now, Bob. Yeah, I, th I think uh, if the Jackets uh, get a, get a little, um, yeah, oh, I say a little score, <laughs> they get a big score here. Then. <laughs> Good. Right back in the thick of things. If they can punch it in here, second down, seven yards to go for the Yellow Jackets at the Crimson Wave 27-yard line. Zach Davis looking. Throws a pass, has a man wide open with the catch. That's a touchdown. Down. Let's see. That's going to be 26 yard, 26 yard touchdown pass from Zach to Ryan. Ryan, the receiver on that play. Great fake by Zach Ball. Yeah, I, t I tell you what, uh, they have really sharpened the game. Yes. So the Yellow Jackets, extra point attempt here by James Monroe. The snap, the hold, the kick, it is up, and it is perfect. Timeout on the field, 4.58 to go in this first half. Our score it's James Monroe 14, Petersburg 14, back after this timeout. At 7 p.m., all home games will start at 7 p.m.
Welcome back to Petersburg High School. We're deadlocked at 14. Yellow Jackets set to kick off to Petersburg. Teeing it up. This turned out to be a pretty good first half, Bob. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> we knew the Jackets weren't playing their football game, and yes. now that they are, it's, uh, it, it's a good match here. Here we go. Deep kick in a vacated area, and it <laughs> finally trickles out of bounds on the far side of the field. If that thing, Bob, had died right around the three-yard line, what a perfect kick because they had no return set up. Yeah, and, and on a kick up, can't you just... Uh, you can, it's a live ball. ball. Okay. So it goes out of bounds. It's going to be a legal procedure call against the Yellow Jackets, a five-yard penalty. So Petersburg should have it at their own 35-yard line, if I'm correct. So this... No, I was getting ready to say this Friday night, more high school football. <laughs> At least we have no game this Friday. Now we're getting a flag. <laughs> Illegal substitution. Illegal substitution. That's Again, it. against the Crimson Wave. I was going to say, that's at least two of them and uh, p possibly three. So it's some of their key calls are illegal procedure and illegal substitution. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing they call. First at 15 for Petersburg. Quarterback, hands off, run up the middle, high stepping it out to about the 34 yard line. Not quite back to the original line of scrimmage, so that's going to set up a second and about 11 yards to go. I think I'd like, I'd like to see a three and out here. Yeah, the Yellow Jackets, they do for turnover, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Second and ten facing Petersburg. Quarterback handoff, and he keeps the football, slips away. And slips to oh, a tackler and making people miss. Finally taken down at the 50-yard line. This guy is as slippery as an eel. Yeah, he, he gets some uh, key first downs. Uh, yes. When he gets out there, he's, uh, he's a good runner. We're talking about number 12. That's Mazea Scott, quarterback. And this kid is listed as, he's a junior, Bob, 5'10", 185 pounds. He can make things happen. First, and 10 yards to go at midfield for the Crimson Tide. Quarterback, again, swing pass, and a host of jam tacklers in on the stop. And a jarring tackle by, is that number 74? 10, Hall, on the reception. 34, I'm okay. sorry. Uh -huh. Captain Junior. All the tackle. Edward tackle. Hampton Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a law firm, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm almost sure Edward Hampton <laughs> Sr. is over there watching. <laughs> Loss of a yard on that play, setting up a second down at 11 yards to go from the Petersburg 49-yard line. 3-26 and counting down here in this first half. Quarterback, quick slant pass across the middle and it's dropped two defenders on coverage somebody might have got a hand in there Bob yeah I I, I saw somebody uh, defending you there in the yeah. middle and uh, I thought for sure he might have had a chance to just br <laughs> haul it I'm down gonna, I'm going to give uh, Joe Hardy credit for that so that falls incomplete stopping the clock with 319 to go Third down and 11 yards to go. You got four wideouts, two to each side of the field. And the quarterback back there in the gun, war pistol formation, dropping, throws the bomb down the field, has oh a man, man wide wow. open, and he stretched out in, my goodness. That was six inches too deep. Man, I thought I thought he pulled it pulled it in. I really yeah. did. Wow. 
but unable to come up with the catch. So how are fourth they getting down that wide open? I know he's oh. running by those defenders back there. Yeah, I, they don't I, think this quarterback can throw ball, but he's shown that he can throw the ball deep. Yeah, he is, he's, he's honing in now, shall we say, because uh, earlier he was, wasn't throwing the long ball. Now he is. Fourth down, punting down here for Petersburg. There's your snap. He fumbles the snap, picks it up, and he's going to be get tackled it. back at the 42-yard line. Number 36 for the Yellow Jackets in on the stop. Isaiah Washington coming up to make the hit on the quarterback, on the punter. Yeah, that's a short field, guys. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> And the time has slipped out of there, too. So, a little over three minutes. And, and uh, so the Yellow Jackets coming up with a big turnover there and a chance, Bob, to go ahead before time runs off the clock to end this first half. Yeah, three, oh, five to go. First and ten for the Yellow Jackets at the Petersburg 43-yard line. That's going to be... A nice run, cut back to the inside, and flag coming out might be a holding call against the Yellow Jackets. On the carry, he's met by a host of Wade defenders. Holding, holding against the Yellow Jackets. Well, that's yeah. why they had such a big hole over there. <laughs> yeah, the old, the old Redskin routine, the hogs. <laughs> Particularly Joe. George Stark, right? Oh, yeah, George Stark. He was uh, George Holding Stark. Yeah. Penalty against the Yellow Jackets, pushing the ball back out to midfield, where it will be first and 20 yards, uh, about 18 yards to go. So, two, 54. We got a PA announcer here who is extremely loud. I don't mean on the mic, off the mic. Yeah. And late hand off in a nice run and uh, knocked back. Is that? 21. That's 21. 21. Yeah. That's Jawan Fontleroy. This is a kid they say that has the breakaway speed ball. Yeah, and uh, if, if, if he had spun off that second tackler, I think <laughs> no. we would have seen that. He would have been gone. Yep. So second and 11 to go for James Monroe. Ball at the Petersburg 45-yard line. Two minutes, 12 seconds to go. First half action tied at 14. And a nice catch and a spin move on the far side. Gain of uh, about seven yards. Down to the Petersburg 36-yard line. Third and short facing the yellow jet. Third and about three. Three for the yellow jet. Hmm. What do you do here, coach? Uh, fake into the line, throw a player. How about Zach running it? Zach running it would work. Absolutely. Yellow jacket player moved on the near side. Okay, that changes the play for you. Sure. Well, he could have run it there on third down and three, but probably a passing down here now with the penalty. One thirty-two and counting down. The Yellow, yellow Jackets have to hurry up here. I'd run that same play they scored the touchdown on before, Bob. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It was a great fake by Zach, and a man came wide open. Here we go. Third and eight, and a pass and a catch, and a nice run down inside the twenty-five. All time out, Jim. <laughs> To about the 23-yard line. Minute 10, the clock will stop while they move and set the chain on the far side. And the Yellow Jackets are ready to go. They're at the line of scrimmage. First and 10 yards to go for the Yellow Jackets at Petersburg 24-yard line. And that's going to be a nice run up the middle. Running still on his feet, reaching forward. And that's going to be the ball came out, but uh, the ground cannot cause a fumble. I tell you one thing, Zach is showing, showing his uh, yes. ru running ability tonight. So the Yellow Jackets taking a timeout here with 51 seconds to go in this first half. And a Yellow Jacket with a great chance, Bob, to take the lead in this football game. 
uh, who called timeout? Did Petersburg call timeout? I think the Yellow Jackets, Petersburg, wanted that clock to run. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. So I was, was going to say, <laughs> wow. JM taking a timeout here. 51 seconds to go. Plenty of time, Bob. Ball is at the Petersburg five yard line. And uh, you got to trust Zach back there to make something happen. I mean, he has literally carried his team in the first half of this football game. Yeah, a two touchdown passes and uh, key runs. Yes. Here we go, back to live action, 51 seconds to go. First and goal for the Yellow Jackets at the Petersburg five-yard line. Petersburg slow to get into their defensive formation. Yellow Jackets are set and ready to go. Four wideouts for Zach Davis, the quarterback. The senior gets the snap, looking, being pressured, throws a pass, and it's going to be a catch right around the two-yard line. Falls out of bounds, so that should stop the clock. Woolwich went high with that catch, Bob. What a catch. Yeah, we, uh, we figured it wouldn't be long for him. He's a, he's a good receiver, and uh, you don't throw it too far over his head. He'll get it. <laughs> and the Yellow Jackets taking a timeout here. They took a timeout. The clock's still running. What's up with that? Yeah, they ran a little bit off now. Yeah, some extra time came off the clock. 30 seconds to go. They took a timeout probably 10 seconds ago, Bob. <laughs> Should be at least 10 seconds added to the clock. So, 14-14 tie and uh, drama here in Petersburg. Petersburg went out in front, 14 to nothing. Yellow Jackets came back, tied it up, and a great chance here to... So they're going to put some time back on the clock. Should be 37 seconds, I think. Yep. Yeah, there it goes. I was close. I said 10. Well, uh, you know, I, I like your uh, estimate. <laughs> <laughs> so, ball resting at the two-yard line, 37 seconds to go. We're tied at 14. This could be very demoralizing to Petersburg, Bob, if the Yellow Jackets yeah. can score here. Yeah. They, need they to dominated it. first quarter play. Yellow Jackets all set. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Quarterback, Zach Davis looking man wide open with the touchdown. Aiden. Yes, sir. Third time tonight. <laughs> Davis to Aiden. Aiden Ryan. Aiden Ryan will see a two-yard touchdown reception from the quarterback, Zach Davis, to Ryan. The Ryan Davis connection tonight. Yeah. So the Yellow Jackets have taken a lead with 32 seconds to go. Extra point attempt here by James Monroe. The snap to hold. The kick is up. It is straight enough. It is good. He hasn't missed one yet. Nope. Perfect on the night. Timeout on the field. 32 seconds remaining in this first half. And the Yellow Jackets out in front 21 to 14. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back to Petersburg High School. Moments away from the miraculous first half being played by James Monroe. They spotted uh, Petersburg 14 points, Bob. And they've scored 21 unanswered points. High, low, short kick. And it's almost safe. The Yellow Jackets might have it. I think they do. <laughs> I think they do, too. Yes. <laughs> First down for James Monroe, 27 seconds. 
Boy, if I was a quarterback in a situation like this, Bob, I'd be licking my fingers. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm going deep. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what he does. Yellow Jackets come up with the fumble recovery. That's why you kick that ball that way. Uh huh. You yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, it's they, hard to handle. Ever since that first touchdown, uh, first touchdown, they they've been lining up uh, kind of like uh, at an angle. Yes. And uh, it paid off this time. Yes, really it did. did. So the Yellow Jackets have a shot here with 27 seconds to go. So that's a penalty against the Yellow Jackets. By far the most penalized game we've done this year. Wow. Had to come down south here and see this. <laughs> Don't know what the call was. Five-yard penalty against the Yellow Jackets. And they, they, there's no signal. Nope. First and 15 for James Monroe. Petersburg, 43. Zach rolling to his left. He got a plant. He's going to run it, and he stays in bounds. I don't think the Yellow Jackets got one timeout, and Zach takes it. 17 seconds to go. Zach, a little heads up play there, Bob. He jumped right up to take that timeout. Yeah, and uh, didn't, he, didn't he make it out of bounds? Because I, I was watching the uh, clock, and it just kept running. Yeah. A little home cooking down here, huh? Yeah, I could smell a little smoke from the grill. <laughs> <laughs> didn't ask us if we wanted the burger. Up they there. didn't, no. No. Offered thank, nothing. Thank goodness for Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zach Davis taking a timeout for James Monroe. 17.2 seconds remaining in his first half. Yellow Jack has trailed for most of his first half. Finally... Jump started that offense and put some 21 unanswered points on the board. And that's where we are, JM 21. Petersburg 14, they must be in shock. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hope it uh, lasts during the half. <laughs> <laughs> Second and nine play here for the Yellow Jackets. You got four receivers, three to the near side, trips. Operating from the gun, Zach Davis gets the snap, drop back, plants, fires a pass, deep down the sideline, and falls incomplete. Good coverage in that secondary by Petersburg. Nine seconds. Let's see if we had Mark Mosley would send in the kick team. Yeah. Yeah, Let's Mo go back a few years. Yeah, that, that, Jack, that does. Jack Dempsey. Yeah, but Mo <laughs> Mosley was like a sure three points almost yeah. anywhere. <laughs> Lou Groza. That's really going back. Gee, that, 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 be careful. You're getting a little gray on this. That was <laughs> Lou de Togros. Lou de Toe, right. So, incomplete pass stopping the clock. Nine seconds to go. Yellow Jackets might can get two plays off here. Zach Davis trips to the near side. Zach steps up, fires a pass, and it's over the head of the intended receiver falls incomplete. So we got 4.2 seconds to go. I'd go deep again, Bob. <laughs> One more time. Yep. How about a uh, flea flicker? No. Um, maybe just a, a screen pass. Yeah. See if that works. I would have tried to screen earlier. It could have put me in, might, might have put me in position for a field goal. And yeah. if they if they run the football, they certainly won't have time to get the field goal unit on. Right. Now this Four is, seconds. This is the last play, last play for the Yellow Jackets in the first half of tonight's football game. You got. Four receivers going out for James Monroe. He's going. Zach. Ooh, I thought he was going down. He's going to have to throw it. And he does. And it was nearly picked off by Petersburg. And that's going to do it for the first half of play. Here in Southside, Virginia, the Yellow Jackets, 21 unanswered points. Halftime, they lead by the score of 21 to 14. Bob will be back, and I'll be back with our halftime show coming up next.
Welcome back to Petersburg High School halftime. The Yellow Jackets up 21 to 14. And, uh, okay. <laughs> they like it when, uh, when you're on the air and they come and give you hand signals. Oh, I know. <laughs> and, and it's, what's that game, charade? You have to <laughs> yeah, figure right. out what, what they're talking about. Yeah. And Here's Bob Blackburn with the highlights of the first half of tonight's football game. Well, the beginning of the ball game belonged to the home team here. Uh, Petersburg at 208 of the first quarter scored on an 11, uh, 11-yard TD run by Scott. And the point after was for two points. That was good. They took an 8 to nothing lead into the second quarter. Petersburg scored again 10-41 in the second quarter on a seven-yard TD run by Hendricks. Uh, point after was good once again. I'm sorry, uh, was no good. And that made it 14 to nothing Petersburg. Uh, J.M. Uh, uh, finally got on the board at 840 uh, with a 17-yard TD pass. Davis to uh, Aiden Ryan. And uh, get used to that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Uh, point, a uh, point after was good. James Monroe um, uh, trailing 14-7. to Then uh, at 458, they got a 26-yard TD pass from Davis to Ryan. That tied it all at 14 all, and then J.M. came back with 32.4 seconds left in the uh, second quarter, and on a two-yard TD pass, uh, Davis to Ryan, James Monroe took the halftime lead, 21 to 14. And that's where we are. Thank you, uh, partner. Uh, recap of the scoring in the first half. Yeah, thanks, J.M., for making it easier to do. <laughs> yes. I mean, they spotted uh, Petersburg 14 points. Uh, they were doing absolutely nothing out there offensively, defensively. And uh, you got to also, well, both teams are playing on the same night. We're talking about Wednesday night. Uh -huh. A little different routine for the Yellow Jackets to play on a Wednesday night. So maybe they weren't ready early. It's very, very possible, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, when I first heard you, you say on the phone that we were going to play on Wednesday, I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here we are, Wednesday night football. And the Yellow Jackets, i tell you what, if they can hold on to a lead and win this football game, they might change the plan every Wednesday night. <laughs> there you go. Let's have a Wednesday night thing. Going. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and, right. of course, you all know why we're playing tonight, because the threat of the hurricane that's on its way, moving up the uh, East Coast. And uh, so that's where we are halftime here in Petersburg. 21 14, Jays Monroe leading. We'll be back later with more about halftime.
Welcome back to Petersburg. Uh, we were just partying too much at the half. <laughs> We're a little late getting back in here, but uh, so Petersburg with the football at their 37-yard line. So glad to have you along tonight on Cox Channel 83 and Verizon Channel 41, and of course on the World Wide Web at RegionalWebTV.com. First and ten for Petersburg, and a run. And he stood up at the line of scrimmage. Flag coming out. Might be a holding call against uh, Petersburg. Normally, I was dead ball personal foul against the Yellow Jackets. These guys have picked up right where they left off. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Don't like to be down by, uh, I mean, don't, uh, don't like to be ahead by seven and uh, have the refs uh, <laughs> develop yeah, a part. Yeah, kind of make up the difference. Yeah, right. So that major penalty, putting the ball at the James Monroe 49-yard line, where it will be first and 10 yards to go. There was no gain on that running play, but the flag coming against James Monroe. So first and 10 for the Crimson Wave. At the JM 49 yard line, four wideouts for Petersburg. Quarterback gets a snap and throws a pass with a catch into the JM secondary. And he's going to be pulled down short of getting into the end zone. Long pass play for Petersburg. Down inside the James Monroe five yard line at the two yard line. Yeah, Boy, a nice long pass. Yes, he missed those in the first half. They come out big here in the second, uh, third quarter, hook it up with a long pass play. And just like that to Petersburg, Crimson Wave are threatening to score early in this third quarter. First and goal for Petersburg at the James Monroe two-yard line. Just getting underway here in the third quarter, 11-13 and counting down here in the third. Quarterback gets the snap. A handoff right up the middle into the end zone touchdown. Excellent blocking. Yep. Big hole. For Petersburg. Big hole. You're right, Bob. And was that number six on the run for Petersburg? Brandon Havel with the two yard touchdown run for Petersburg. And Crimson Wave. Don't have a kicker, Bob, so they're going to go for two here. Could, right. with a converted two-point uh, play here, could take the lead by one. So, 21-20, James Moreau. Here they go for two. And a pass. And a quarterback is going to get in for the two-point conversion attempt is good. Quarterback. Was that number three getting in? Tribby on the T R I B B E Y. Tribby Bay, I guess. Yeah, I remember he pronounced them for us, and uh, we, uh, I, we, we, we weren't we, listening. We might, yeah, we might. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to admit that, but you're yeah. right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the PA announcer went through the entire roster and uh, pronounced every single name on the roster. And some were right. <laughs> Most were wrong. And he's the home announcer. So I think we can be forgiven. <laughs> so Petersburg jumped back out in front, 22-21 out score. Crimson Wave kicking off to the Yellow Jackets with a one-point lead in this seesaw battle here in Petersburg. That's the deep kick. And it's taken by the Yellow Jackets on a return. Popping through out across the 30. Flag on the play. Why not? Yeah. This flag happy officials officiating crew. Oh, that's that's going to be a block in the back against uh, James Monroe. So you can see. Petersburg is getting their 12th man involved here. We're not yep. talking about the fans. We're talking about the guys in the striped shirts with these 
calls now. And the boys of Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They probably a little upset they had to work tonight. Yeah, no kidding. They, or the uh, bad news is they got to work tomorrow, too. <laughs> yeah. But tonight, probably their night at the Moose Lodge. Oh, you're exactly right. A bowl in one of the two. Yep. So first and ten for the Yellow Jackets at their 15-yard line. Zach Davis, the quarterback, two receivers to the near and far side of the field. Davis looking. Nice slant thrown behind the antenna receiver. That falls incomplete. Stopping the clock. 10.51 to go here in the third. Second down and 10 yards to go for James Monroe. All right, Dan. I got a question for you real quick, and I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead, Bob. Is there a dark place on on the field? That yes, it is. Okay, all right. Uh, I yeah, thought yeah. it was me, but wow. <laughs> no. I'm going to bail you out on that one. This. <laughs> Thanks, because uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of showing up on the monitor, no, too. It is. It's a dark spot because of the lights here at the stadium. And the Yellow Jackets keep it on the ground. Getting some good yards out near the 20-yard line. They're going to spot it at the 20. So a third down play here. Third and about five yards to go for James Monroe. I wonder if they got a play with um, with Hardy in the backfield as the running back, and then he uh, sweeps around and hauls yeah. up and throws it down the field. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good play. So here we go, third down and five yards to go. Trips to the near side of the field. One lone receiver to the far. Zach Davis gets the ball, rolling to his left, looking downfield, throws it as far as he can. And a receiver coming back for the football, and it falls incomplete. Oh, that's a shame. Threw it into double coverage back there in the Petersburg secondary. Almost came up with the catch. <laughs> so that falls incomplete. Got a flag on the play, and it might be against Petersburg. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> You're optimistic. Holding James Monroe, that's going to be declined. It was declined by Petersburg. That will bring up fourth down. Wow, these, these guys are really inserting themselves into the game. You mean the officials or the PA announcer? <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> Mm. So, penalty against the Yellow Jackets, that was declined by Petersburg. Setting up a fourth down and about six yards to go, punting down here for the Yellow Jackets. That penalty hurt, Bob, because it pushes them back deep. That means Petersburg will get a good return here yeah. and have good field position after this punt exchange. Yeah, be Punter careful. standing at his six-yard line, takes his time. Gets off a nice punt off the side of the foot. Again, it takes a JM, uh, takes a Petersburg bounce. So the Crimson Wave will have it in good field position in JM territory at about their 34-yard line. Yeah, D needs to come up with a big stand here. Yep. So we're talking about this Friday will be off, uh, Bob. No football. What and will we do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go to the Moose Lodge. <laughs> Moose Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> There's still one downtown on Carolina. Jim <laughs> said he'll go. <laughs> yeah, okay. So first and ten for Petersburg at the 36-yard line, JM 36. And quarterback missed tackles. They need to pop this guy. He's not a big guy but right. at all. He's right shifty, but yes, he is. Do it. You need to square those shoulder pads up. Can't leave with the helmet now. I think if you pop this guy a couple of times, and yeah, no, nose and numbers. What he's he's, he's limping around too. Uh oh, yeah, might be hurt, injured. So second, two yards to go. And he's still messing with his ankle. He. He is limping, uh, Bob. We're talking about Scott, the quarterback. Okay. Scott sets his offense for wideouts. Scott gets the snap, fakes a handoff, throws a pass. It's short. 
Boy, there was a mix-up on that pattern. The receiver went downfield, and Scott threw it short. He thought he was going to break that route off and go to the outside. Thus, uh, it falls incomplete, stopping the clock with uh, 8.51 to go. You know, when we were coming down here, of course, uh, we were traveling south, but on I-95, a lot of traffic uh, heading north, uh, uh -huh. and we assume it's because of the evacuations in certain areas, people getting away from the, from the hurricane. And a catch, and a, another missed tackle down inside to 15 to the 14-yard line. Need, need a break here, guys. Need yes. a break. So Petersburg picking up the first down on the pass play. It will be first and 10 yards to go for the Crimson Wave at the James Monroe 14-yard line. 8.30 to go here in this third quarter. One-point game. Petersburg 22, James Monroe 21. Quarterback Scott gets the snap, keeps it himself, runs into a host of JM tacklers, might have picked up a yard or two. Tough going down inside. Yeah, the one thing about Petersburg, they got to they either got to get it in the end zone or because they, they don't have a field goal kicker, we know that. Yellow Jackets come into this game tonight to, to uh, make it Oh, and one and two on the season. That lone win coming against uh, Charlottesville. Petersburg undefeated at two and zero. Oh, second, eight yards to go. Quarterback Scott, handoff in the middle. Not much. Short gain down to near the ten yard line. They're down and relatively long, so yep. it's going to have to go to the air. Third and about seven yards to go. Yellow Jackets have no pressure at all on this quarterback when he drops back to throw the football. Might want to send some of those linebackers on a blitz. Yeah. Pressure this guy to get rid of the ball because they're definitely going to put it in the air. Trips to the far side of the field. One receiver to the near. Scott gets it. Throws a pass across the middle, wide open, into the end zone, touchdown. Saw it coming. It was a slant pattern across the middle, wide open, into the end zone. Ten-yard touchdown play from the quarterback, Scott, to who was that mass man? Yeah, that's... Well, let's see if he announces it. So, Petersburg on the board, going for two again. Yellow Jackets encroachment. Flag on the play, flag on the play, we got So, that's going to move the ball half the distance to the goal with this two-point conversion attempt. All sides against the Yellow Jackets, the ball is now kissing the goal line. <laughs> This guy's a comedian in a club at night mm -hmm. when he's not PA announcing. 6.58 to go. Two-point conversion attempt here by Petersburg. Quarterback Scott looking and throws the ball. It's going to be hit short. No, they're going to say he got in. He was hit just as he caught that football, but that two-point conversion attempt is good. And once again, the Crimson Wave strike. 6.58, timeout on the field. Petersburg 30, James Monroe 21. Back after this timeout. Welcome back to Petersburg High School and the Crimson Wave, uh, Bob. 
come out like gangbusters here in this third quarter. Yeah, they had they've had they've had some breaks and uh, they've made good plays. So uh, Jackets are just going to have to reinvent themselves here real quick. Here's your kick. It's a line drive kick. Uh, fielded at the 16, up the middle. Look like a horse collar to me, but no flag. Out to the 29-yard line. Yeah, I bet it would it would be nice if the Jackets could catch a break on the penalties. You know, um, that's that's bound to be demoralizing. So first and ten for the Yellow Jackets at their 29-yard line. The Yellow Jackets Zach has to heat up again here in this third quarter. Four wideouts for James Monroe. Man in motion to the far side. And he, Zach keeps the football. It's fumbled and That's, that hurts. Yeah, I got it. Petersburg come up with a fumble recovery in the jam backfield. I think it was a mix up. That man in motion for the Yellow Jackets, Bob, was number three. That's Marquise Davenport. And the exchange was not good. Looked like a jet sweep to the far side of the field. And they fumbled the football. And Petersburg coming up with it. So it was not designed for Zach to have uh, to, uh, handled it. He, he, uh, he missed the pitch out, I guess. Yep. So first and 10 for Petersburg at the James Monroe 25 yard line. Scott Hendricks on the carry and a scrum right around the line of scrimmage. Might have picked up a yard or two. Six and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. On the road here in Petersburg, Virginia. Yellow Jackets have played uh, Petersburg five times and they won all five games. So Petersburg trying to pick up that first win ever against James Monroe. Yeah, let's see if um, if uh, P Petersburg gets the two scores and then uh, JM uh, puts three on the board. <laughs> Second and seven quarterback with the football had nowhere to go with it. And once again, it's a big stack up in the middle of the field right at the 20-yard line. That's going to set up third down and seven yards to go. 544 and counting down, Bob. Yellow Jackets have got to, in some kind of way, they don't want them to score here. Uh, you know they're going to throw it. Here we go. Four wideouts. Quarterback looking toward the bench, getting the play. Okay, Temple. And he's got the play now. We're ready, set to go. Snap. And a pass. And a catch for the touchdown. That hurts. 20 yard touchdown pass from the quarterback. Catch the number of that receiver. I didn't. Uh, Muhammad, number four, from the quarterback to Muhammad for a 20-yard touchdown pass. 36 to 21. Two-point conversion attempt here by the Crimson Wave. They do not have a place kicker, but they got a guy that kicks off. But that doesn't require too much accuracy. Place kicker is a little different. Quarterback gets the ball rolling to his right, cuts it in, and he gets into the end zone for the two point conversion attempt. Timeout on the field, 5 0 2 to go here in this third quarter. Our score it's Petersburg 38, James Monroe 21, back after this timeout.
Welcome back to Petersburg, Virginia, Southside, Virginia, where they grow tobacco. <laughs> Heck E. Yep. <laughs> Crimson Tide kicking off to Jay Crimson Wave kicking off James Monroe. Picked up 10, 15, and finally taken down out to about the 22 yard line. Yellow Jackets have got to get something going here. Falling behind certainly hasn't hurt them. They were down about 14 points in the first half. They came back and took the lead. So let's see if we can do it again now. But uh, we only got 4.54 to go here in the third quarter. So they need some scores, Bob. Yeah, they need, they need to put at least one on the board here and then um, all three in the fourth quarter. <laughs> So first and ten for James Monroe. Three receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Zach, handoff up the middle. I don't know why they run that play. They have gained minimal yardage tonight. Yeah, and it, uh, when they well, you got to uh, keep them honest, don't you? Well, yeah, well, you do. But on on that one, it looked like the running back was going to take the uh, snap directly, and yeah. uh, and uh, Zach grabbed it and ran it himself. So, short gain on that play. Well, they say no gain, setting up a second down and 10 yards to go for James Monroe. 22 yard line with four, 22 to go. I'm Herman K, this handsome guy sitting next to me, expert on, uh, analyst, <laughs> Bob Blackburn. Second down and 10 yards to go. Quarterback Zach. And did he catch it? It's so dark yes. over there. Okay. I think it is dark, Bob. You're right. Wow. That's Woolridge who has been limited tonight with his catches. He's a big target that can catch the football. You got some great receivers on this JM team, but uh, has not been a real factor other than those two touchdowns caught by number seven early. Yeah, he, uh, he he did a nice job on all those catches. Trips to the near side of the field. The quarterback rolling to his left. And he throws a pass. With the catch, he's going to say he was out of bounds. Number five coming up with the catch. Turner White. Turner is a good uh, receiver too, yeah. Bob. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's put some uh, points on the board. He's a kid that can catch a BB in the dark. <laughs> well, one out of two. <laughs> I haven't seen the DV, but uh, it is dark. So, out of bounds, forcing the Yellow Jackets to punt again. And you got to remember what's happening here, Bob. Yellow Jackets with poor field position. Yep. They have to punt. And Petersburg is getting excellent field position on these punt exchanges. High snap. Quarterback, uh, punter rather, takes his time. See if we get, nope, we still a lateral side bounce. And it's down by James Moreau at the Yellow Jackets 48 yard line. Gotta have a break, gotta have yeah. a break here. Again, Petersburg operating first down in JM territory. So pretty much of this second half of football has been played at JM's in the field. Yeah, and then that's, that's not a good thing. It's nope. mor moralizing and uh, it results in a lot of scores for the other team. Poor field position by the Yellow Jackets. That's what they will write about tomorrow in a paper. First and ten for Petersburg at the JM 47 yard line. Quarterback handoff up the middle. <coughs> Yellow Jackets have defensed that well. Problem, Bob, has been the secondary in coverage. Yeah, and uh, they're mixing up their passing and uh, yep. and running plays very well. And uh, I have to give Scott credit. Uh, he's straightened up his passing game pretty well. So... Petersburg with their run attack narrowly in a passing formation. Four wideouts, three to the far side. Quarterback Scott awaits the snap. There's the snap. The fake, the pass. And it was in the hands of the number 10 was the antenna receiver. Travion Hall, the antenna receiver. Travion should have had that ball. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, you, you look at your hands to see if it's in there and <laughs> it wasn't there. Drop pass, third and eight yards to go. 2.25 here in the third quarter. It's Petersburg 38, James Monroe 21. Third down and eight yards to go. It's a JM 44 yard line. And get a pick here, guys. Get a pick right now. Pick six would be great. Wouldn't it? That would help. Scott gets the snap, looking to throw the ball. Throws it as far as he can. He has a man with the catch into the end zone touchdown. That's 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 44 yard right. touchdown pass from Scott to number four. That's Muhammad. Muhammad coming up with the reception. 44 yard touchdown pass. Boy, they're eating that secondary alive. Yeah, who, who would have thought that yeah. secondary is pretty darn solid normally. 44 to 31. Of course, I would think, Bob, that Mountain View was the best team that the Yellow Jackets played this year thus far. Two-point conversion attempt is coming up short. Well, that's the second time they didn't make it. So timeout on the field, 2-16 remaining here in the third quarter in Southside, Virginia. Petersburg, 44, James Monroe, 21, back after this. Welcome back to Petersburg High School. The Yellow Jackets made a game of it, Bob, in the first half. Now it looks like uh, Petersburg trying to pull away. You know, I talked about uh, Petersburg scoring 44 points. Best team I've seen the Yellow Jackets play this year is Mountain View. On a return for James Monroe. And still on his feet, making people miss out across the 40, 35 to the 36 yard line. Yellow Jackets have done nothing with the football in two or three possessions here in the second half. Yeah, th this is so uncharacteristic of the Yellow Jackets. Uh, usually at halftime, they get a little fire going yeah. on. Uh, of course, in the Mountain View game, uh, yeah, the, the fire kind of went out after uh, Mountain View went down and scored. And yeah. Petersburg, they run up against pretty good quarterback tonight. This kid has a rifle of an arm. First and ten, James Monroe, Zach Davis, the quarterback. Zach looking to throw the ball. And could have been an interference, but the, and the receiver Woolrich is getting up complaining to the referee. That was contact before that ball got there, but it falls incomplete. Yeah, not going to get that call here. 2.02 to go here in the third. 44-21. Scored uh, 65 points total in this football game. You like that, Bob? I can add. <laughs> uh, we need, uh, we I'll need stay to away from subtracting, though. <laughs> Run by the Yellow Jackets out to the 38-yard line. Nothing is happening. No, it's just, it, it, it just doesn't look like the, the life is still in that yeah. team here. What about our short passing game? We haven't tried that in a while. Yeah, and, uh, and, and something just to spark them up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Third down and eight yards to go for James Monroe High School out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Four state championships under their belt. Third and eight. 
from that 38 yard line. Zach Davis fakes the handoff. Gonna throw it. And it's gonna be intercepted on the far side of the field. Tripped up out across the 30. Excellent coverage in that secondary. Well, I tell you what, Bob, you know what that did? If they if that had fallen incomplete, they would have had to punt the ball. Yeah. That's the best. <laughs> Three previous possessions, they punted the ball and Petersburg ended up in their territory. Guess what the ball is now? In their territory for in the first Petersburg time in for the, the first half. time in the second half. All right. Mm. So I'll take that play. <laughs> Just like a punt. Uh, yeah, it, 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 unfortunately. But, yes. Uh, so, first and ten for Petersburg after that interception at their 31-yard line. A minute six remaining here in the third quarter. Crimson wave up big over the Yellow Jackets. Quarterback Scott, three receivers to the near side. This guy has been perfect tonight throwing the football. A near perfect, well, I Scott should say. So Scott, with the keeper, picked up a yard on that play. Yeah, he he very rarely he loses yardage. Then if he does, it comes down to third down and oops. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight's game is being brought to you by Union Bank and Trust, Fredericksburg leader in banking and financial solutions. Glad to have them on board. Second down and eight yards to go. Pass over the middle, wide open. First down, out near midfield. This guy is picking us apart. Yeah, it's it's hard not to be d totally discouraged by that. And I, uh, I, I just hope uh, they're not getting so down that they're not uh, they're not even going to try. Yep. So they move the chain on the far side of the field at midfield. It's first down and ten yards to go for the Crimson Wave. Scott, the quarterback. Looks toward his bench with a play. End of the quarter. That's going to end the three quarters of play here in Southside Virginia, home of the Crimson Wave. They're out in front over James Monroe, 44 to 21, back after this timeout. Welcome back to Petersburg. It's been all crimson wave here in the second half. They've dominated play over the Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets led it to half. Uh, what was the halftime score, Bob? 21-14. Yep. So first and ten for Petersburg. Ball sitting right at midfield as we began 12 more minutes of football. Two receivers to the far side, two to the near, four wide outs. I think they might pass on this play. Yeah, it looks like they're feeling lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Scott drops back, yeah. plants, steps forward, going to run the football, oh, weaving his way, making yeah. people miss. Oh, this guy is shifty, still has not gone down, finally run out of bounds on the near side of the field. What a run by this quarterback, Scott. 
Yeah. yeah. It, and that, and I think that's the third time he's had really, really good yardage yes. uh, when he uh, refused to throw it because uh, his uh, receivers were covered. You know, we're talking about Messiah Scott, Bob. He's quarterback, 10th grader, 6 feet, 198. I don't think he's quite 6 feet. He looks more like 5'9". <laughs> but uh, he's a pretty good quarterback, very elusive. But, uh, well, he's still got two more years of high school football. Handoff and a run into the secondary. Cuts it back through. Runs right through a couple of players. It's going to be a holding call against uh, nice run. It's going to be a holding call against Petersburg, nullifying that outstanding run. So they're going to bring it back. About time for us to get one. Yeah. You know, I don't mind them calling them, Bob, but kind of even it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That must have been pretty darn obvi obvious. <laughs> yeah, <if> they called it. <laughs> so the holding call against uh, Petersburg nullifying an outstanding run. See, kind of high-stepped him once he got down near that goal line, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, can, you can Eric Dickinson-style running. <laughs> you tell when a team goes up by over 20 points, you know. <laughs> they don't show off a little bit, do they? Yeah, no, no, they, they wouldn't <laughs> high-step on anybody. <laughs> so first and five yards to go for Petersburg at the GM 30. A little hitch pass. And the problem I see with the Yellow Jackets, they don't take anybody to the ground. They're holding people up. How many times have we seen a Yellow Jackets tackle and the ball carrier never goes to the ground? Yeah, that, that's not a good thing. It's, there's, there's a little fatigue involved yes. here. Yes. No question. I would think so. Of course, Petersburg playing on a Wednesday night, too, but... Uh, we are having difficulties tonight. And a run, first down, down near the 20 yard line. Gonna spot it at the 21 yard line. 10.50 to go in this football game. First down, Boy, they, they are really excited here about this big lead over James Monroe. Yeah, it's been five, it seems like about five years. Yeah, yeah. they've lost to us five straight times. <laughs> and we're whispering because we don't want the PA announcer to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> First then, 10 yards to go, swing pass in the flat with the catch. And number 15 on a stop for James Monroe. And that's uh, Jakari Struthers coming up with the stop. They are having their way. Yes. Second and about five yards to go. We still got, uh, who do we play next, uh, Bob? Uh, Chancellor. So we open up the battlefield where the games will really count. Yeah. This is a big game for James Moreau, too, because they're in the same region. Yeah. yeah. Same uh, class. Second down and four yards to go. Ball is to James Monroe, 15 yard line. And he runs right into a JM player. No gain on, short gain on that play. That's going to set up third down and about three, four yards to go. Yeah, he looked like he was disappointed that he didn't get a gain on that. Yeah. <laughs> So, third down play here, you know they're going to go for it on fourth down. Because oh, yeah. they have no place kicker. Right. That's right. You got two receivers to the far side, one to the near. Man standing beside Scott, the quarter of Scott. Handoff, pulling players with him down inside the 10. That's going to be enough for a Petersburg first down. In the past... We have owned this Petersburg team. Yep. It, 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 it's just amazing to me to see uh, see a, see a good defense. And they're know, playing in Petersburg extremely well, but certainly not the best team we've seen this year. 
No. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, no, I definitely would agree. Yeah. I mean, they, we're uh, talking about Triple A school, Mountain View, Stafford was a good team. Yep. So we'll see how far this undefeated Petersburg team will go. Said they got a big game next week First against Hopewell. First toss timeout. Petersburg taking a timeout. 8.35 to go here in this fourth quarter. And Petersburg out in front 44 to 21. We'll be back after this. Back here at Petersburg High School, Crimson Wave threatening here. Ball down in the JM red zone, first and goal from the six or seven yard line. Got a receiver split to the far side, two to the near side, sends one man in motion. He's gonna get the handoff, trying to turn that corner. It's gonna be ridden out of bounds on the far side, short getting into the end zone. So. Okay, we, if we want to start a small start here, uh, it's time to stop them. <laughs> yep. So second and goal from the two yard line for Petersburg. Certainly the most points the Yellow Jackets have given up this year. Yep. And did they get in? Uh, must have. Yes, oh, touchdown. <laughs> Scores the touchdown. Scott. Six more. No score. 50. Crimson Ray. 21. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who got that touchdown, Bob. Uh, quarter, the quarterback. Uh, quarterback Scott did. Got, yeah. So Scott with a two-yard plunge for the score. And Petersburg pouring it on tonight. 50-21 to 21 our score. 8-21 remaining in this football game. And the Yellow Jackets two-point conversion attempt here by the Crimson Wave. No, they're going to kick an extra point here. <laughs> Figure what the heck. It's an extra point. The and they kicked it up. No good. <laughs> okay. They were getting excited there. First time tonight they tried for the extra point kick. Yeah. Off to the right side, no good. Timeout, 8.21 to go. Petersburg 50, James Monroe 21 back after this timeout. Welcome back, Petersburg set to kick off to James Monroe. They've hit the half century mark, Bob. Yeah, when's the last time you remember something like this? And uh, oh, been and, a long time. And allowing five touchdowns in a row, unanswered points. Wow. Yep. Not too many lopsided scores like this have we seen. In the last 10, 15 years, kick is short, taken by one of the up backs. Out across the 45 to about the 47. Good field position here for James Monroe. 
They need a bunch of touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> a country uh, bushel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. They need a bushel of scores here, trailing 50 to 21. So we thought this was going to be a tune-up for Battleford District play, not this Friday, but the following Friday. We're back at the friendly confines of Murray Stadium. Chancellor Chargers coming to town to take on James Monroe. First and ten, four wideouts for James Monroe. And a pass across the middle and a catch. Nine yard pickup. Short game, Bob. Yep. Number two, Woolridge. On the reception, 18. Uh, you okay? Joe yeah, yeah. Well, Woldridge um, <coughs> is, ma is, is making his catches now. I just wish he'd go down the sideline and and do a do a sixer. <laughs> Not a bad play on first down, picking up nine yards. Second and one for James Monroe. Ball in Petersburg territory again. The receivers, they're going to give them those short passes, Bob. They just don't want to get beat deep. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's right. They've got the luxury of just kind of kind of laying back. Yep. And it's, they move the chain across. I think that might be the first first down of the second half. I think you're right. <laughs> Isn't that something? All right. Got to start somewhere. Yep. First and 10 for James Monroe at the Petersburg 41-yard line. 7-17 to go in this football game. Zach with a catch. Woolrich on a reception down inside the 35 to about the 34-yard line. That's the game plan I thought they should have used earlier. Yeah, may, maybe they're going to... A little bit too late. Yeah, maybe they'll... Uh, They'll try to get a little more respectable here. Let's see. And the thing is, too, when you're getting first downs and keeping possession of the football, they can't score. Right. So these are the type of drives that the Yellow Jackets needed earlier. Second, three yards to go for James Monroe. Zach pumps, feels the pressure, got to get rid of it, yeah. and he steps out of bounds. Flag coming in late. Might be a holding call against the JM. Against JM. Flag happy crew. Yeah, I wish I'd kept kept track of how many penalties have been called tonight. Yeah, <laughs> bunches. <laughs> yeah. Penalty against the Yellow Jackets. Holding call on the Yellow Jackets. Well, I saw something on that play that I didn't see. Saturday from Zach. He was in trouble and he stepped out of bounds instead of risking throwing the ball for an interception. So, yep. Good move. Did holding call. I'm sorry, Bob. I was going to say, did you see the holding call over near where he was? No, or? I didn't okay. see it. Okay, I didn't either. Phantom call. <laughs> Whoops. Second, <laughs> second 120 yards to go. We're out of town, Bob. We can yeah, say that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As a pass and a drop football. Great effort yeah, by number six deep. for the Yellow Jackets, Bob, who went high oh, to yeah. try to catch that football. And that was Deshaun Smith. So the Yellow Jackets, when things happen bad, like that holding call, it puts them in the hole. Now they're sitting at a second down and 20 yards. And the chances of them picking it up on this third down in 20 are slim and none. <laughs> it's going to be real hard to pick up 20 yards on this, but they might go for it on fourth down. Oh, there's five we can take home, I think, unless we... Let's we see if it's offense who moved first. Usually when you see several defensemen come across, it's... The offense pulling them off. Yeah, offsides. Offsides, Petersburg. Yeah, we got one to go our way. <laughs> Five yard penalty against uh, Petersburg. So third and about 14 yards to go for the Yellow Jackets. 6 20 and counting down here in the fourth quarter. The Yellow Jackets need a bunch of scores. 
Zach gets a snap, throws a pass, out of bounds, incomplete, stopping the clock at 6.08. Pass was intended to Brandon Woolridge. And it, look, it looked like, uh, Zach looked like he rushed, rushed the pass yeah. a little bit. He didn't time it. I like Zach a lot, Bob. Some mechanics a little bit different at times, you know, as far as yeah. setting up and planting when he throws the football. Yeah. Let's see Not going to be overly critical of any high school football player, but yeah. Zach rushed out to the left side, throws the ball against his body with the catch. Yes. It's a catch, and that's a... Yeah. He ruled it incomplete. Well, I honestly did not see him uh, throw it or catch it. Yeah, uh, that's a dog spot over there too, Bob. Uh, We're talking a dog spot on the field, the lights. Let's see, on that one you got two bulbs that are out. Two, ro two rows of lights, huh? Yeah. yeah. Not that, enough. That's what they have at the drag strip. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Football stadium needs more lighting than that. Poor, we sell grapes. <laughs> it affects us mentally when we don't yeah. win. Yeah, or or, not, or out of the ball game. That, that's a shame because uh, that is so unusual for for Jam. New quarterback in there for 14, Petersburg. See if I can pick up the number. Vadetto. Jaden Vadetto, I think that's the quarterback. Vadetto? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll apologize to mom and dad if it's not correct. <laughs> they know who number 14 is. Oh, yeah. So, second and ten yards to go. New quarterback. They say it's a JV quarterback, Bob. And probably some JV players in there now. Or some reserve players, yeah. I should say. 5.06 and counting down here. I guess the Yellow Jackets want that clock to hurry up and run down. Yeah, that, that, that last drive was crucial for getting some points on the board, and they just couldn't do it. Yeah. Yellow Jackets have a pretty good reputation down in this area. I mean, they knew they were in a dogfight whenever they played the Yellow Jackets. But tonight it's been all Crimson Wave. Five TDs in a row will yep. do it to you. Yep. Third down. The layer game against Petersburg. The where was those calls ref when we needed them? <laughs> Four and a half minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. Going to see what the traffic is going to be like, Bob, on our way back home. Yeah. Lord help us. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all pray for us. That's right. Looking at the James Monroe schedule. We'll talk about, got a little downtime here, Bob. 4.05 to go. And it's a pitch and a run. Nice tackle. Number 32 for the Yellow Jackets coming up to make the hit. Jamie Leon, Adams Mallory, hyphenated last name. Nope. <laughs> let's try this. Let's, look, let's try this menu. <laughs> <laughs> That's How about this roster? <laughs> Garrett Rogers in on the stop for the Yellow Jackets. Loss of yard punting down here. Punter standing back at his 24 yard line. Return made for the Yellow Jackets at his 38 yard line. See what kind of punt this guy gets off. Does not get a turnover. He kicked it right out of bounds. That was about a 15-yard punt. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 16 yards. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't want to take anything away <laughs> right. from a youngster. I don't want to hurt that youngster's uh, average. <laughs> so the Yellow Jacket will have it first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Yellow Jackets in uh, not this Friday, the following Friday, will be at home to take on Chancellor, open up the Battlefield District, and Petersburg. Nice slant across the middle and down inside the 40 to the Petersburg 39 yard line. Completion, move yeah. the chain. I don't think they've subbed in much on the D. Nope. Some of the same starters in there, huh? Pass, catch. Down inside the 35 to the 31 yard line. Two fifty three to go. Yellow Jackets want to get a touchdown, some respectability, Bo. Yeah. That's, um, I don't know if they can get the uh, required 30. Zach Davis, another quick pass to Woolridge. He gets away and finally horse collared out of bounds in front of the Petersburg bench. Do we need 30? Yeah, we need 31 points. So, um, we're on a running clock. Yeah, we, we probably certainly can. got out of bounds, but must be a running clock. Two at 17 in county. Oh, gosh. I don't know if we've ever had a running clock. Against no, us. not against us. Third and three yards to go. That's Zach. Throwing a ball against his body oh. is nearly picked off. Should have been picked off. Zach could have easily run for that oh, first okay. down, but he... He elected to throw the ball. Yeah, it falls done. incomplete. Having a nice game. Brings up a fourth you down. Wow. Petersburg Athletics on Instagram to find out the players of the game. So, this week games are coming up. It's Spotsylvania hosting Orange, Chancellor at Liberty, Stafford at King George, Potomac at Mountain View, Stonewall Jackson hosting Brook Point, Holland, Holland Springs. And it's fourth down, and a catch, and a first down on the far side. I like the fact that they are letting Zach stay in there, Bob. They haven't pulled him. Yeah, you know. I, yeah. It's just this has been frustrating for every everybody, and uh, inc including Zach. He's, uh, he's so Zach is still in there. A lot of pride at stake here. They want another touchdown. First and ten. Zach looking, looking, rolling to his right. And he's going to turn it upfield. Down inside to 20 to about the 17-yard line. Temporary stop in the clock. Clock is running. Thought they would at least stop it when they moved the chain. No, it's shorter than first down, so... Second and a yard to go. Yellow Jackets ready to go, but look how much time Petersburg taking to get players oh, in. Oh, yeah. All right. This big time, guys. So they did stop it at a minute 27 ago. So Petersburg undefeated season will be on the line next Friday night, the Friday night after next. And that's going to be Woolrich pushed off, but he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Pass intended for two Woolrich. Incomplete. So it's going to be a test bar for Petersburg to remain undefeated when they take on Hopewell. Do you, do you know anything about Hope, uh, Hopewell this Well, year? I know they usually have a yeah, pretty good football yeah, team. Yeah, they usually do. So it will be a test for Petersburg. All right, Jackets, come on. Let's get in that end zone. Third and one for the first down. Minute 15 to go. Get the first down and a slant and a deflection and an almost interception. Slant pattern across the middle. Ball thrown a little bit behind the receiver. Yellow Jackets lucky that thing wasn't picked off. Insult to injury would have been in the call there. Yeah. Fourth and one. Um. Do they need the first down or do they need the touchdown? <laughs> <laughs> 
So we hope you are watching the game on regionalwebtv.com live. Tonight's game being brought to you by Union Bank and Trust Company, Fredericksburg's leader in banking and financial solutions. On behalf of Union Bank and Trust, I'm Herman Kay, the guy right next to me is Bob Blackburn. And the guy is just proud tonight to have a Hall of Famer because uh, I've been <laughs> no. mighty, I've been mighty dull. No, you, you have been fine. You. Oh, we forgot Jim. 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 Hey, Jim is down in front, waving his hands as he runs the camera. So fourth down for James Monroe, and they keep it on the ground, bouncing to the outside. They've got the first down. You can't give it up. So it's forward progress. Is out to about the 12-yard line. That's going to be enough for a jam first down. Only 59 seconds remaining. Got an injured player. Flag coming out. Might have got slammed. So it might be a personal foul call against somebody. No initial indication from the referee. Uh, per, um, it's a Petersburg player, and he looks like he has a leg injury. Yeah. Well, this one is, you know, the sign that the game is almost over, Bob? Is that? When you see the buses pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, shake hands and get off the field and uh, live to see another day. Yep. Don't want to see any injuries or any extracurricular stuff. So the referees are sorting out things out there. 59 seconds to go. We're going to do a quick wrap-up and get out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is cheering again. <laughs> you know, certain things that we say where this guy really reacts in a strong way. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. cut it off now and go home. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no 59 seconds still. And a flag was thrown, Bob, but no... Nothing from the referee, who is the head official out there. Did, did they get the injured player off the field? They were talking to the JM bench. Oh, it's not an, an, an ejection, is it? Don't know. You know, in the Mountain View game, they had an ejection. I didn't know it. Yeah, I uh, never saw it. Did you see it? No, well, I thought you did. Uh, cause no. I, oh, all right, all right. Did I mention it? I thought I thought you did, Herman, but. Um, it was an injection of a um, jam player. Jam player, yeah. yeah. So the <laughs> this PA announcer, he was suplex. Giving you the play by play, the blow by blow. <laughs> <laughs> this cage match here at Petersburg. First and about 25 yards to go. Zach looking. And over the head of the antenna receiver. What a great attempt at pulling that pass in. So the clock has stopped. 51 seconds to go. Thought the clock would run. That it stops on incomplete passes. Am I correct? I, I would think so. Uh, I remember... Uh, Remember, once they once they set the ball down, uh, they're supposed to start up again uh, mm -hmm. if they're if they were running clock, and um, I would think that they do. It did not. Won't start until a snap of the ball. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take the time. Zach with three receivers to the near side throws a pass. It's low, falls incomplete. Incomplete pass. Third. Again, ladies and gentlemen, so it's week, third down and about 25 yards to go for James Monroe. Well, Blue Devils, 
46 Eight seconds to go. 7 p.m. Please come out and support Wade Athletics. I saw the band at halftime, Bob. They got a pretty good band. Yeah, they uh, they did, they put on a good show. Now, yes. they, uh, there were some uh, there were some pauses there in the national anthem that I <laughs> wondered <laughs> yes, about. But yeah, third down. Zach running with the football. He's going to run it. It's like slips the tackler down inside to 20 to about the 17 yard line. That going to run out if they don't want it. 30 seconds to go. The clock is running. That's going to set up a. Last play here for the Yellow Jackets on fourth down. And I think the Yellow Jackets took a timeout there. So 23 seconds to go, and we'll keep it right here. Interesting game tonight. Ups and downs, more ups for Petersburg and the Yellow Jackets. But they had a good little run there toward the end of the first half and took the lead. But... Uh, Failed to score here in the second half as Petersburg poured it on. And they lead right now by the score of 50 to 21. Yellow Jackets have got to get the cobwebs out, Bob, and get ready for the Battlefield District play coming up uh, Friday up the next. Yeah. Chancellor. And uh, I still believe in this football team. Yeah, I, I, I do. They let this one slip away. And, uh, you know, it's, there's been uh, two games yes. where Jam was leading uh, at the half and uh, came back and just couldn't put the second half um, together. Staff a game in this game, correct? That's, yes, correct, yeah. So fourth down, 12 yards to go for the Yellow Jackets at the Petersburg um, about 18 yard line 23 seconds got to pick up the first down if they don't score and that falls incomplete turning the ball over to Petersburg and the they're gonna crimson wave will get the football they'll kneel down I suppose yep. one snap will do it so we got to make our way back up 95. Heavy traffic on 95. People evacuating from the impending storm. Sort of hope it's not that bad, Bob. No, I, I do too. I mean, we, we need some luck tonight. Yep. <laughs> and uh, uh, it'd be hard to drive with your head down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. So. Final play of the game, they take a knee, and that's going to do it. 15 seconds to go, and players will line up and do the traditional handshake at the end of this football game. But Crimson Wave beating James Monroe for the first time by a big score of 50 to 21. And the Yellow Jackets struggled, Bob, tonight in this football game. We'll talk about it after this break. Final score, 50 to 21. Petersburg will be back after this. Welcome back to Petersburg High School final score 50 to 21 is all crimson wave tonight Bob and here's Bob Blackburn with a wrap up of all the scoring in tonight's football game. Okay here it is fa uh, fast as we can go here uh, 208 uh, in the first period is when uh, Petersburg scored their first touchdown 11 yard TD run by Scott point after for two was good made it eight to nothing. Uh, then it was Petersburg uh, scoring once again at 1041.
one, the seven-yard TD run by Hendricks. Point after for two was good. Uh, they took a 14 to nothing lead. Before JM came back on three straight scores at 8:40, had a 17-yard TD pass from Davis to Aiden Ryan. Uh, point after was good, made it um, 14 to seven. Uh, Petersburg and at 4:58, uh, the Jackets seemed to be coming alive. A 26-yard TD pass from Davis to Ryan. Tied the score at 14 all, and then JM scored uh, one more touchdown before the half. And uh, at 32.4 seconds on the clock, they scored a two yard TD pass from Davis to Ryan, and that's the last time JM saw the lead. Petersburg scored one, two, three, four, five times uh, to end this football game. Anyway, 11 04 on a two yard run by um, Harville. Uh, point after for two was good. Uh, at 6.58, they had a 10-yard um, TD pass from Scott uh, that resulted in uh, uh, a 30-21 to 21 lead. At 5.02, there was a 20-yard TD pass from Scott to Muhammad. Uh, point after for two, good, 38-21. And uh, at 2.17 of the third quarter, they had a 44-yard TD pass to Muhammad. And uh, all the nails were in the coffin by that time. Point after was no good. 44 to 21 at the end of the third quarter. Petersburg put one more score up on the board at 8:21 uh, of the fourth quarter on a two-yard run by Scott. Point after no good there. Final score: Petersburg 50, James Monroe 50. Uh, excuse me, 21. <laughs> so the Yellow Jackets' big loss on the road tonight against the Petersburg team that they dominated in the past. Five meetings previous to tonight's meeting, the Yellow Jackets have won all of those football games, but they came into a, a hornet's nest tonight here at uh, Petersburg as they uh, downed the Yellow Jackets in a big way, 50 to 21. So, Bob, we've got to get back on track. Uh, they're off this Friday because they are playing tonight instead of Friday night. Should give them a chance to heal. Should give the Yellow Jackets a chance to, to work on some things and get ready for the uh, Battlefield District opener at Murray Stadium coming up Friday after next. Yep, we'll see you at the, the friendly confines <laughs> of Murray Stadium. Yes, sir. In so town. for Bob Blackburn, Jim Chandler, I'm Herman K. saying so long from Petersburg, Virginia. Once again, that final score, Crimson Wave down in your Yellow Jackets, 50 to 21. We'll see you Friday after next. Good night, everybody.